Alright guys, I'm sorry about the brief interruption, spammer call. Um, I really hate telemarketers. Really hate them. Alright, and uh, we are going to go ahead and... I don't remember how to do this. Um, That's a plan I never took care of. Uh, I never colonized uh, Raylam to the, the beautiful toxic planet. Um, yeah, I'll move. I'll move this fleet to Raylon One to refit. And you guys need to. Build those to Mark IVs. Fortunately, the Mark IVs are actually really cheap to refit to. That's actually really fortunate. <laughs> the the Mark ones and twos, and even the Mark threes, like all have really expensive parts in them. So the class three shields actually don't add very much cost, which is nice, very nice. Uh, we could do advanced power density. That would give our uh, cannons more damage, since we went to cam the cannon damage tech earlier. back through our planets that we're doing the refits again to get the second refit at the top of the queue. Nine turns per uh, battleship on, the, on that planet, on that uh, belt. Which is incredibly quick. It's actually really good. It's actually really quick. It doesn't sound very quick, but <laughs> it's really quite quick. Alright, and I think we're gonna process. Oh, leg. Okay. Uh, a couple more turns for that. I gotta get there. And you don't have any more refits, I don't think. No, no more refits. Okay. And I honestly don't care about pollution output here, really. I mean, it, I want pollution output down just so that I uh, get more production out of it. Um, but it's not a huge pressing need. Yeah, I need 750, I don't have it. Meh. Um, I'm not going to divert the uh, production to do that. Um, I can move these guys back down to here 
for refitting purposes. Anyway. Martian fleet can't control it, and but you can select it, even though you can't control it. Um, <laughs> process. Uh, uh, <laughs> nothing good was gonna come of that. <sighs> okay, so he attacked a ton of ships, right? Onto a star base, didn't lose a single ship. Basically, like, he took a little bit of damage on a couple of ships. Like, okay. <laughs> Whereas if I autoed with my four battleships, I would have lost like three battleships onto his star base. Now, in both instances, the star base doesn't stand a chance. But the bias that the AI gets is pretty ludicrous sometimes. <sighs> ah, well, that's where half the challenge of the game comes in. Okay, let, let's compare. So we're putting out 113 production here. We're putting out 105 here. That is the power of no pollution, ultra-rich belts. Like, I have a fraction of the population, I'm putting out almost as much production a turn. Almost as much. Uh, and I'd have even more if I had this built. Let's actually get that built first. And we don't have one of these built here either, which we have built at the other place. So both of those combined are here, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is both of those. No, it doesn't have industrial infrastructure, but it has the other one. Of course, it's also using stuff to pollution. So let's get both of those built all the way up and compare the industrial capacity of a belt to a large toxic hellforge. Okay, hellforges boost your production as well. Uh, Chul is my poor homeworld which barely produces any <laughs> industry. <laughs> the industry I put on Chul is so bad. So bad. <gasps> oh my goodness. So bad. Oh, Alright, Raylon 1. Raylon 1, like... Like... Mm. Look at that cost. VR net's very cheap though. We'll put it after the pollutionary sequencer. Because that'll boost our productivity a little bit as well on this world. Um, rail on one, we want to make sure we don't move when we do this next re fleet refit. Make sure we get the right fleet. It's not that one, it's this one. Nope, it was that last one. Yep, it is this one. Okay. This same mark for is refit. Alright, and I want to come down here. How much is it to purchase these outright? Yeah. I'll just purchase all these. Oh, 156 each. Which means next turns will be able to produce by two, and the turn after will be able to buy the last one. Alright. Alright, so we have a Hellforge. I'm 
not very happy either. In 600 BC, what do you think I made of? Swiss cheese? We're gonna need a ring container to boost the 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 uh, happiness there. Um, we also don't have max happiness here, so we're just right now experimenting, trying to maximize the production of my belt and my uh, 15 population uh, health forge toxic abundant. Um, be interesting to compare an ultra rich belt with an ultra rich toxic with like double the pop. Uh, I'm pretty sure the toxic would win at that point. Um, but the fact that how close it is without that is really, really good. It's really incredible. It just goes to show how good belts are. Um, belts just don't produce a lot of tax income. It's the downside to the belts, they don't produce tax income. They produce lots of industry, though. Um, okay. The fleet at Evastonum is ready for refitting. Should be this one? Yes. Wait, what? Where'd they go? Okay, now they're here. That was that was really weird. Alright, we'll check back on that later. We'll send this fleet out to deal with the humans. Starbase will be built next turn. It's also going to get hit with the fleet next turn. Let's upgrade both of these guys. Because they're probably going to get invaded. Oh no, it's got a couple of turns before the fleet hits it. Okay, that's fine then. Might be able to pull this off. Let's go ahead and separate these guys out. Mutual support range.
Damn. Invasion averted. Chuck Super Soldier strike again. Oh no, command points been exceeded. What will I ever do? Someone please save me. I don't know what's what I'm gonna do to prevent this horrible over taxing I'm gonna be doing to myself. Okay, so 158 here. I'm at 100% happiness. 158 production off seven guys. 158 production off seven. Versus 149 off 15. Oh, I got on TV continue coming. Okay, 190 off 15. How much of this unhappiness is from. It, none of it's from um, being uh, conquered. So this is at max happiness for my current tech. I can't get any happier on this current tech. Um, and I'm only producing, what, 48 more? No, 32 more production here than I'm on the asteroid. So just think about that. Just think about that for a second. If you think about that, I mean, that is just absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Maybe back up there. Uh, maybe back up. Tech. Tech. Kill, kill, kill. Alright, the new improved battleship design, the Mark IVs. You should all be Mark IVs, I'm pretty sure. They're all Mark IVs. Alright, and then we want to... We want to get into our weapon envelope as quickly as possible and take as little punishment from them as we can. Actually, we want to... Uh, change that to there and change you to here. We need to take out the back ships first, um, honestly. Still took a lot of damage. But yeah. 
lost the left wing basically. But that armor is still going to protect our core from that side until it goes. So. The fact that we lost half the weapons on that is pretty immaterial. It doesn't really matter that much. Victory! Didn't actually lose a ship. Took a bunch of damage, but didn't lose anybody. That's acceptable. All of my ships are fully repaired. I don't know why. I don't think they should have been fully repaired. I think they took more damage than they should have repaired in one turn outside of combat. Like, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they took more damage than... Take it. I wonder if that's a bug. Hmm. This makes you want to auto so bad. But you know that one guy, even if he has a knife, is going to kill all of my guys. Like. He has a knife, and I bet you he would have killed all my guys if I'd audit that. Instead, I just let him walk at me, and I'll kill him without getting injured. You see how easy that was? But I know if I'd audit there, I would have lost like all of my guys. I don't know why. I don't know why. Really? All right, let's take back these worlds I conquered fair and square from the humans. Uh, we got one ship there, another one coming out in four turns. Advanced power density, excellent. Canopy shields. Which, honestly, I don't know why I'm researching canopy shields. Like, I guess if I build titans, they'd be useful. Um, but the Chuck just don't have big enough battleships to fit them on the battleships effectively. I could fit two on the battleships, one each arm. But that'd be all that'd be on that arm. 
besides defenses. Like, I don't know. Not sure. All right, and a couple more turns, and that'll be uh, pacified again, and then I can try going through the wormhole, and hopefully it'll put me really close to R and R. I want to auto that so bad. Oh. <laughs> it end so horribly wrong too if I did that. Why does this guy have to have a laser rifle? Not that it matters. Just meant I had to do a little prep work. <laughs> oh man. I wish I could select all my ships and turn on their engines in one fell swoop. Just with one click. Select them all, click engines. Watch them go. It'd be really nice. Alrighty. Right then. 
Let's go see the wormhole, folks. I don't see myself being able to defeat that incursion. I, I don't think that's happening. Really? It said I'd get to this planet this turn. Okay, there we go. I was like, and it didn't auto trigger the fight when I got there? <laughs> what? <laughs> Or if there was a shortcut. If I could just click the ship and hit E for engine. Or... One, maybe? No, one doesn't work. E doesn't work either. Well, I tried to find some super secret... Hotkey, but there isn't one. Oh, well... It appears like the, I think the gauze bug is finally gone, where the gauze would just like hit the shield and hover there and then eventually penetrate. Yeah, I think that bug's gone. Finally. That station just got wrecked. Like expected. Mm hmm. So I think it's interesting to note that those human cruisers are only about 20% smaller than my uh, battleships. So, they're actually pretty powerful. A lot stronger than people think. Wow. It's a lot of ships in that incursion. That's a lot. I don't think I can defeat it. No, oh, my fleet split up into bite-sized chunks. They've all got lasers. That should be the humans wiped out. At which point I will finish this recording and upload both the previous video and this video to YouTube. Um, I will probably upload them both and then combine them into a single video. Uh -huh. No, there's one more human planet. I've got to finish wiping out the humans before I do this video. All right, this is gonna be a long video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. It just doesn't seem like a good logical breakpoint without finishing up the humans first.
sorry. Um, all right, let's go find him. You want photon torpedoes? But you won't actually trade me with anything. You have no tolerance. Oh, there's Persia. But he fight. And begin the invasion. Power to full. Alright, so I think I'll do a Kulrathi. No shields, no goss, no railguns. Next. I think that'll be my next series. Only armor. To be honest, I'll probably make heavy use of missiles. But at least, well... Hmm... I don't know which is more evil, like, I don't know which is cheaper, gauze slash railgun spam, or missile spam. <laughs> Both are pretty cheap. That's... I've never been unable to click on the planet before. Definitely can't click on it. Okay. There we go. Woohoo! Class 1 shields! I missed a human world somewhere. He colonized the place. Okay. Hmm. These humans have no more colonies in awkward places that I have to go hunt down. Can it be? Nope. Okay, where is the last human world? Um,
Okay, I think that might be it. <laughs> Is that the last one? Please be the last one. These trade ships are still coming up here. Please don't have one back up in here. That's the one problem, hunting down the last vestiges of a broken empire can be very, very time consuming. Admittedly, if I looked around and spent five minutes looking around before a couple turns back, I couldn't a couple turns quicker. It's just me being lazy. Shields didn't even break. That one was the lowest. Which just goes to show that, you know, class 3 shields are very strong. Very, very, very strong. Alright, this should be the last human colony. Should be. If it's not, I'm going to cry. I didn't see any others. I didn't see any trade ships running off somewhere weird. Yes. Yes. <sighs> we reached out to them for a quote on their exchanges, but did not receive a reply at, reply at press time. <laughs> and inconsiderate to their long list of failings. <laughs> oh my goodness. I never seen that one before. Or at least if I had, I don't remember it. Alright, and that'll be it for this episode. Next episode will be walking all over uh, polyps and taking them out. See you guys then.